In this video, I would make you understand the concepts relating to data handling. Now, you saw earlier also, but let me just reiterate as to what do you mean by a frequency? Now, if you see on the left hand side, what you have is that the pocket money data received by students, which is given. So, there are students who receive between rupees 100 and 200. There are 45 students who receive this amount. Between 200 and 300, there are 35 students who receive this amount. And so on. Now, there are certain terms that you should kind of understand because these are the ones which kind of are going to help you out with your workings as you move forward in statistics. The first one, let me say, is class interval. Now, whenever you are given any kind of data, let's say in this example, the data that is available is pocket money received by the student. Okay? There are intervals which are given, there are class intervals which are given, there is a range which is given to you. Now this range, let's say for 100 to 200, is also called a class interval, which means that one class or one category of people who fall are within what to receive 100 and 200. This is called class interval or also class at time. So class interval is basically the difference or the range between any two numbers which are given within which a particular group of people is expected to fall. So number of students falling within 100 and 200. So 100 to 200 is itself a class. Now related to the class are there are two more terms, you know. This is the first number which comes under any class. Let's say for this example, you have 100 and 200. So you have 100 as one number and 200 as the other number. So the first number or 100 here is called the lower class limit. So this signifies as to where the class begins. And 200 is called the upper class limit. And this signifies as to where a particular class ends. So the lower class limit represents the starting point of a particular class. Whereas the ending point or the upper class limit represents the point where the class ends. Now there's a concept of width also known as size of the class. This is basically given by the upper class limit, which is let's say 200 in this case, minus the lower class limit, which is 100 in this case. So the width of a class, width of a class, or the size of the class is the difference between the upper class limit and the lower class limit. And the frequency, I had discussed this initially also, is the number of times, number of times, number of students in this particular example, the number of times or items which fall in a given class. So you say that the frequency of class 100 to 200 is equal to 45. Frequency of class 400 to 500 is equal to 60 and so on. So basically these are some of the terms that you should know as you move forward in the data handling process.